close your eyes and put your mind in shape. That was one of Ajahn Sawat's recommendations. We dress up the body, and then he says you also have to dress up the mind. Put it in good shape. Get it ready to do something really good. You're going to meditate. You're going to develop good qualities in the mind. Think of the Buddha. Think of the Dhamma and the Sangha. Of this valuable tradition we have here. It's called the Triple Gem. We take them as our refuge. We take them as our guides as to how true happiness can be found in a responsible way. We respect the effort that the Buddha had to exert and the Noble Sangha in order to find this way and practice this way. It's interesting that in English when we talk about getting the mind still, we say get it to settle down. But in Thai they say to lift your mind up, because you're lifting it to a higher level. We worry about the affairs of the day, who likes whom, who doesn't like whom, all the politics, even the pol even in the monastery, the politics. You say, why bother? Lift your mind up higher than that. Lift it to something good, something that is of long-lasting value. The ability to get your mind under control and to find true happiness inside. The Buddha said this is one of the forms of merit. In the West we don't like the word merit, but as the Buddha said, it's another word for happiness. It's the good that you do to be happy. And it's good all around. The cause is good, the result is good. Not like some forms of happiness where the causes for the happiness are bad, and the happiness comes, but then it's going to go. And when it's gone, what are you left with? Well, you're left with the karma, what you did to get it. But here you do good. You, you find happiness in a way that's totally harmless. It's actually good for others. When you're generous, you benefit. People around you benefit. When you follow the precepts, you benefit. The people around you benefit. When you meditate, everybody benefits. The world needs people with minds under control, with minds that find their happiness inside. They don't have to go out and take things away from others. So you're doing your part. Whether other people do their part or not, that's beyond your control. But you take care of what you're responsible for. And it's this way that we, we be, can become members of the Noble Sangha, and that we can become an example for others. It's not like the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha are far away. As we bring their qualities into our mind, we make them really close. The question is, do we want to stay close or do we want to wander far away? We stay right here. We stay in the lineage of the Noble Ones. And it's this lineage that makes human life worthwhile. So lift your mind up. When you find it falling down, lift it up again. Keep it on a higher level. Because with anything here on earth, you're on a low level, you can't see much, you're down in a valley. The sun hardly gets there. But if you're up on top of the mountain, you get the sun all day long. So it's up to you to lift your mind. Don't let it just keep falling down, falling down, falling down. Because this is something we can do as human beings. And it makes life worthwhile.